All right, Blake Root is here with Everyday HDR and HDRinsider.com. And today I'm going to show you how to get rid of chromatic aberration in under three minutes. We're going to do two techniques that really get rid of this. Actually, it's one technique, but we're going to do it twice. It's really kind of cool. So you're going to go from these pesky little chromatic aberrations, these purple and cyan things here, to this. Nice and clean, no more pesky chromatic aberration. No more excuses after you watch this three-minute tutorial. Let's go. All right, so what are chromatic aberrations and how the heck do we get rid of them? Well, I'm here in Adobe Camera Raw. You can do this in Lightroom as well. Lightroom and Adobe Camera Raw are the two best options for this. So what you need to do is look at an area of high contrast to low contrast. These trees are one of those areas where you've got this high contrasty tree area that goes to a low contrasty sky or this building. Let's use the building as our frame of reference for this. You can see these magenta and cyan or purple and green fringes that are happening on the building. It's basically the way light enters your lens and the way the wavelength of light is recorded onto your sensor. So all lenses capture the image differently. This 17 to 40 millimeter lens has a horrible chromatic aberration sweet spot. It definitely makes chromatic aberrations all over my images, especially when I tone map for HDR. So what I need to do is go into this section here, the lens correction section, and go to color. And right here, I can click on this Remove Chromatic Aberration button. And when I click that, sometimes it'll make those chromatic aberrations go away, but it doesn't always get rid of them completely. So what we need to do, you can actually control click somewhere on here. And when you see when I control click, a little white dot appears on the purple hue line. So when I control or command click, that will get rid of them for me. It's basically selected a four of my purple amount. And I can do the same thing with my green. So I'll go ahead and click right here for the green. But it says this color you clicked is too neutral to set the defringe click. Please click on a more colorful area. So let's try and click on a more colorful area. It's doing it again. I know that is a green fringe. So sometimes you have to do it manually. You move the green amount up a little bit, and then you find the hue of that green line. So the hue of that green line is right between this shade of green and this shade of blue. And now we've pretty much gotten rid of that chromatic aberration almost altogether. Here it was before, here it is after. So let's go ahead and zoom out real quick and we'll come and zoom in up to here to our trees where they have chromatic aberration as well and see how well it handled the chromatic aberration in the trees. It did a pretty good job. The thing about chromatic aberrations is it's one of those things that's not necessarily a technical flaw, but it is a pain in the butt because it doesn't always work out the way you planned, especially when you remove the chromatic aberration on one side, but then you come over here and you have different chromatic aberration here. What do you do? Well, I'm going to go ahead and open this image because I'm in Photoshop CC. I'm going to go to filter and I'm going to go to camera raw filter. I'm going to go back into my chromatic aberration reduction, click on the remove chromatic aberration and click on that area. It's going to remove that purple amount there and click on this area here to see if it will remove that green amount over there. And it does, but it thinks that that's part of the purple. So I'm going to press control Z. See, I got this purple haze around there, control Z to go back and I'll do this manually. Sometimes that green one, you just have to do manually and I'll find the hue of that green one. All right, so that's how you remove chromatic aberrations. Sometimes you have to do it twice. My name is Blake Rudis of Everyday HDR and HDRinsider.com, and this is how you remove chromatic aberration in under three minutes. If you like this, please, please, please share it. We need to get the word out about this because chromatic aberrations are a pain in the butt and they're all over our images. Thank you very much for watching this. Subscribe, like it, share it. Thank you, and have a great weekend.